Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got a little different kind of video for you. I thought we'd um, talk about Open L Nice for just a little bit and what I'm planning on doing um, in a couple weeks. But yeah, a um, couple, couple videos ago I posted video on this knife. This is the number eight serpent snake. Um, my wife bought this in this mug when she was over Paris, France and she bought these for me and I gotta say I really dig this knife number eight with that snake wood and this has a completely like mirror finished blade I mean just to uh, see how man that is Super cool, but yeah, um, this paragraph down the bottom tells about it. It says, "Crafted from, from snake wood, an exotic, yeah, can't speak, an exotic wood from Ghana, characterized by dramatic specks and splotches, resembling the skin of a reptile, and it's Sandvik stainless steel, 12C 27M, mirror finish." Um, just, just an awesome knife. And I said then, I probably wouldn't carry this because it's a limited edition and I think it's too nice to just beat up. But with that said, I've never really carried an open L. I have these two. I had these two, number sevens, and they're Colorama, um, series again all these are stainless steel inox blades i do not have a carbone blade yet by playing on it but like i said i never really carried it once in a while you know i threw one of these two in my pocket took with me um along with whatever main blade i was carrying that day but these two, for a long time, one or the other, lived in my lunchbox for my little, like, steak knife. You know, for my lunch at work. And, yeah, I mean, they make excellent little steak knives. These number sevens are excellent. But what I was, what I wanted to kind of figure out is, man... People either love open L's or they totally hate them. You know, even on my video, I had a couple of comments where one guy just loving up on the open L's, how great they are, and how, um, you know, how do you, I, I can't remember how he put it. Anyways, he more or less said, nice snobs nowadays, you know, just put these down they don't understand them all people want today is fidget knives and um exotic steels like magna cut and stuff like that and titanium handles and yeah well a comment on that comment on the other side of the fence saying these things are junk they're they're too lightweight they don't hold up. The only thing Open L does is good is to take one thing, make it into two, meaning it'll break and then you'll have two pieces of it. But um yeah, and I see that all the time. And Facebook groups, even on Instagram, YouTube, where this side loves them they they love open l nice think they're the greatest thing in the world they they've edc a number eight open l for the past 30 years never had an issue the same knife um that's and it works great for them other people um either just totally dismiss them because they are so old school. They're definitely two hand open. 
you know, and you got to turn the locking collar. And they are thin, very thin bladed knives. Then you got to unlock it, close it back up. And to be safe, when you put it in your pocket, you have to lock it again. Totally understand it. Um, me personally, I think they are cool. You know, old school. I had one when I was a kid. I loved it. Um, but yeah, nowadays, I don't EDC and open it. I have it. I, I mean, I threw it in my pocket a couple of times. But I always had something, you know, something else, you know, bug out, which is probably not the best example. But, I mean, I got tons and tons of knives, you know. This is a, a Hogue 6 Sour K320, awesome knife, S30V Steel. I have, um, you know, like the bug out. Or not the bug out. The bug out too is a good EDC knife, but the 940 Osborne is an awesome heavy use EDC knife with the axis lock. That's 30 V steel on this one. So <clears throat> I understand that. Real quick, open, easy, you know, one hand open, one hand close, super fast, heavy duty. Um, so these things with a wooden handle. You know, the wooden piece up here with just a pin through it. Yeah, I can see where they're not heavy used, but I don't know this. See, I have never used one that for heavy use. I haven't carried it for an extended period of time. Um, and I'm going to I'm gonna prove, I want to prove one way or the other. So I, I bought this. This is a number eight. Again, it's... Inox steel, stainless steel, walnut handle, same size and everything as this. The 14, or 12C27M steel. So essentially the same blade, just different wood on the handle. So I picked this up. My plan is that after I get done testing the Spiderco Salt 2 with LCN or LC200N steel, which is supposed to be completely corrosion resistant. And this is a back lock. I don't mind back locks. You know, again, it's slower to open slower to close and I can I can flick that with my thumb I cannot spidey flick this to save my life so after I'm done with this which coming up real soon I'll do my one week update on this I'm gonna try to carry this one for 30 days um, I'm going to try to exclusively carry this, only this, with maybe the exception of my Victorinox Pioneer X, because I always have that with me. And, um, yeah, I may carry a, you know, a different folder, but this will be my main blade. This will be what I'll, I'll try to use first. And then if it doesn't hold up or doesn't perform a job, I'll pull out something something like this to do the job. But yeah, I want to see if, for me, with what I do at home and at work and stuff, if this makes a suitable EDC knife. Um, I think it will. I'm not sure. I like them good enough, well enough. But the fact that you have to unlock it, open it, lock it, use it, unlock it, close it, and lock it again may get may be too much for me. You know, this is not the fastest knife to use, but 
opens pretty quick and I can close it one-handed pretty quick that's this is about as slow as I like to be um, you know going back to the bug out you know you pull this out of your pocket flick it's open close back in the pocket um, yeah this will get takes some getting used to but yeah so just so you guys know after I'm done, I got, you know, another up to three weeks with this. I may, I may call it short. I may cut this short um, just so I can do this one because I'm really excited to do this. But anyways, in the future, I'm going to try to rock this for 30 days. And I'm going to try carrying it different ways to see what works the best. Um... I ordered a open L sheath belt case for it. Um, the cheap one, the uh, imitation leather. I'll do a video on these when when I get them. And the pocket clip. I got a pocket clip coming coming, so that might be the ticket because they're a little thick in pocket. But they're super light. This thing's like under two ounces. Three and three and a quarter inch blade, four four inch handle or whatever it is. But yeah, um guess that's it. Just just to let you guys know. Coming up a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be trying a EDC and open L number eight. In fact, it'll be this one. But I'm getting, I'm so fond of these right now that I have a Beechwood number 8 coming that I'm going to try to modify carbon blade, the carbon blade. So I'm going to try to do a force patina in that blade, modify the handle a little bit, um, pretty it up, maybe with some carving, some wood burning. So be on the lookout for those videos. But yeah. I guess that's it. I just wanted to two things. Tell you I'm gonna carry I'm gonna attempt to carry this as an EDC knife for 30 days. And two, let me know in the comments what you think of open L knives. Do you like them? Do you EDC them? Um, do you hate them? You would never EDC an open L. Um yeah. I didn't I didn't show this, I showed it in the last video, but the snake wood one, the walnut one here, number eights. These are number sevens. <clears throat> Which well, a little bit smaller. This one is actually my wife's and it's a number six. So yeah, in the comments let me know if you do EDC uh an open L. What size? Eight, seven, six, a nine, a ten, whatever. What kind of wood handle? What kind of wood it is? Stainless steel or carbon? Um, and if you hate them, let me know you hate them. But you guys be nice to each other. And I guess that's it for this video. Do use a like, comment, subscribe. And until the next video, bye.